kind of a big deal. Fresh out the mailbox. Yo, shout out to my peoples over at Roja for blessing me, of all people, with this amazing package. We doing first impression slash unboxing on this shit because I'm mad desperate to open these shits and smell them because some of them I don't know what they smell like, others I kind of sort of have an idea. Let's roll my motherfucking music and get into this shit quick because this video might take long and you know I don't have patience, I want to open this shit. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3 U3 B3A. There's no better feeling than when FedEx knocks on your door and you get to open these shits right here. The Roja new line that they got. They got five of them. I only got four. Am I really gonna be upset about it? Shut the fuck up. They were gracious enough to be like, yo, Kuba, do what you do. I don't give a fuck what you say, if you like or you don't like. We fucks with you heavy. And I was like, you know what? I fucks with you too. So let's get opening these shits. Uh, let's open this one. I don't know what the fuck it is. Hold on. First one we're gonna open is Vetiver Pour Ohm. All right, so let's get this shit cracking. As you can see, I haven't opened it. And of course, I'm always, that's a little dramatic. That's a little aggressive. Much better. All right, let's open this shit up right there. Oh, but did you really need the knife to do that? No, it's just for effect. All right, let's open this shit up. I'm gonna stab myself. Wouldn't be the first time, Cheddar Bob. Open this shit up, wrapping right on the floor. As you can see here, how do you open that? Okay, you go, oh shit, I don't wanna drop it. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. It's green, bitch! And you're probably not noticing that it's green because I have a green screen, so it's probably throwing off the color, but trust me, it's green. All these fragrances are Roja Parfum Cologne Concentration. What the fuck does that mean, Kuba? We don't know this shit. Guess what? Neither do I. But essentially, I kind of sort of do. Roja is like, yo, I like the freshness of cologne, but the shit don't last. So let me make a little bit of a hybrid. The freshness of a cologne with the strength of Parfum Concentration. That's what I'm getting from it. So just imagine a chick with a nice pair of chesticles that are a little droopy. She went to Dr. Miami, got them picked up, so they're already the perfect size, but now they're at the perfect eye level. Or if you're suffering from ED, you pop a blue pill and this is gonna be my first impression because I have no idea what Vetiver Parfum Cologne smells like, so I thought it would only be right to bring back the Cuba Handy Dandy Tester Strip. It's not Bounty, it's the Cuba Test Strip. So let's do a couple of sprays of this shit. First impressions, don't know what this shit smells like. Let's go, and... Oh. Oh, this is, oh, this is way too refined for me. This, wow. Wow, this is good. Wow, this is good. This literally smells like an English dude who's wearing a, uh, a tweed sports coat with the brown buttons on it, and it's got the elbow pads. Motherfucker rocking an ascot, got the little round circular glasses, and maybe a walking stick with a knife in it. It's very nice, it's just very mature. It's not Cuba, it's not Cuba. Cuba's really turned up crazy like, woo! This is not Cuba, this is a refined individual, a sophisticated gentleman, and he has a very, very intellectual wife that's a little naughty in the bedroom, however, in public, you would think she's a fucking mute. Green, I feel like a little mintiness sensation here. Fresh, definitely got the vetiver component, but not the vetiver that you would think of from something like Turd Hermes, not that vetiver. Citrusy, it's definitely got like a dry, also a little earthy, bergamot, vetiver, is there like floor? I didn't look up the notes, sorry. Shocker. Bright bergamot, beautiful vetiver. This is very nice. This is very nice. It's not a Cuba fragrance because it's too sophisticated. I don't wear sports blazers. My man tits look wild crazy in that. Next one, I'm so hyped. Boy, this is good so far. Good start. Not a Cuba fragrance, but a good start. Next one. Next one is Scandal. I've never smelled this one either. So let's cut it up again. I don't need, what do I, what do I need the knife for? I'm just so Spanish. I just want to need, I need a knife for everything. All right, drop that shit to the floor. Wife will pick that up, don't worry about it. And this one is my favorite color, fam. This is like a blurple. It's like a dark purple with a tinge of blue. Scandal, scandal. It's like a raunchy little slut pocket. All right, oh, I can't open it yet. No, no, no. I need a Cuba test strip. Hold on, hold on. Watch me drop the bottle and shatter on the floor because I'm an asshole. Cuba, Cuba you're not supposed to test that on fucking Bounty. Shut up, I do what I want. Oh, I almost sprayed myself in the fucking eye. All right, Scandal Parfum Cologne. One, two, three. All right, all right, all right. I'm holding my breath right now because I don't want to smell it. I'm putting it over here. Oh, shit, this is good. This is my flow. Oh, ooh, bitch, dry down, bitch, dry down. Damn, this is making me want to look up the notes. Damn, my left nipple got hard. Oh, it really did. Oh, this is, 
This is scandalous. It's a little seductive. It's got a sexy vibe about it. Yo, my right nipple got hard now too. Am I getting a chubby? Mm, this got that throwback manly James Dean in the drop top Porsche, no seatbelt on with that brown broken leather and that Alberto V05 hair swift back. Sex appeal, there's something sweet and tart in here. Earthy, it's got a little bit of an old school barbershop feel but modernized, it's got that reinvention going on. This is sexy. I like this, bro. It's not it's not ratchet, it's not loud, it's not obnoxious. It's definitely got a little bit of an old school flair, but like the young popular kid back in the movie Grease. Also gentlemanly. Now the more that it's drying down, you get a lot more there's lavender. There's got to be lavender here. You definitely got lavender. It's amber uh, ambergris, but there's a fruit in here, something that's that's giving it sweetness that it didn't have like in vetiver. It doesn't have the same profile as vetiver. This is this is this is scandalous. Now the other two fragrances, I have Elysium already, which is one that they sent me. So I already know what Elysium is and I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see my description of Elysium. But I also have Danger and that's the next fragrance, although this concentration is different. So I'm going to definitely open that one and see if it differs a little bit. And maybe later on, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Parfum versus Parfum Cologne. But let's open that shit up because I love opening boxes. You know what I'm saying? Opening boxes. Next one. All right, I'm not gonna lose the knife. I don't need it. I just wanted, I wanted the knife for effect. Danger! I feel like mystical screaming in my head though. Oh, but this is a nicer color bottle. All right, Cuba test strip time version. Now let's see if this one differs or smells the same or we sticking with the same. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's a little bit different though. Obviously on the test strip, it's gonna be a little bit different. I feel like the Parfum version, and I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, but this is literally off the cuff. I feel this one, the Danger has a little bit of a funk. It has a little bit of a mmm, a little mmm, a little, you know what I'm saying? The Danger DNA is super fucking there, but it's different, it's slightly different. This one feels like a more mass appealing Danger, as opposed to the other one being more of a refined Danger. Mmm. I'm curious to see how these joints are on skin. Obviously, these are first impressions. This shit literally just got delivered. So I'm putting this out because I really wanted to rip open the boxes and give you my impression. Oh man. This is also really good. If you haven't seen my review of Danger, I'll, I'll put that in the link in the description also so you guys can view that one also. And let's just open Elysium because you know what? I like to open boxes. Who doesn't like open boxes? It's like a satisfaction thing. Yeah, it's the same shit. Obviously, it's not gonna change. It's the same one that I have and I don't gotta spray this joint, I know what time it is. But this is like the mass appealing beast. This is like the club popper. The women love it, the men love it. The, le the, the men might love it more than the fucking women. I don't have Enigma or Creation E. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I will be purchasing that one as these were sent to me. Elysium obviously is the heavy hitter and will be the more mass appealing fragrance, but if I had to pick a strong number two, Scandal. Scandal is a very nice, nice fragrance, very Cuba worthy. I think this is a definite ball sprayer. Vetiver as well, but Vetiver is a refined individual. Again, the perfect tweed sports coat with the fucking suede elbow pads and the brown buttons that I never understood that kind of look like some kind of bread baking. And let me tell you, these colors alone on your display will just draw so many fucking eyes to your collection. Although not everybody's gonna be seeing your stash, but whoever has the privilege of being in your humble abode and they see these color combinations of this beautiful green, this amazing purple, that blue, and then you got that slutty little red auburn shit. Am I gonna say these are the best fragrances on the face of the fucking earth? Let's be honest. It would be number one, Scandal would be number two, Danger would be number three, Vetiver would be number four. I can't rate Creation E because I haven't smelled the shit on their new formulation. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know if I need to get Creation E immediately or which one of these would be your favorite to smell. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, it's the biggest in the game whose hands are sweating a little bit and these shits might just fall and break all simultaneously which would make for amazing content. Which one would be the ball sprayer right now, Cuba? Well, I've sprayed Elysium on my sack, so scandal it will be. Smelling glorious. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's the biggest in the game feeling a little purple and scandalous. I'm gonna dry hump the shit out of you later. Smooches!